What's going on YouTube? Taco Stacks here, back with another vlog. Uh, scrap day, let's go scrap in. Picked up a bunch of metal. Um, just trying to really clean up around here. It's getting towards that part of the year where everything's starting to overgrow. Grass needs to be cut. So with that in mind, probably want to cut the grass today. Won't include that in the vlog. I don't think you guys want to watch me cut grass. Plus it takes me like two hours to cut it. And uh, But we'll be doing a scrap vlog. Got a couple eBay orders I got to pack up and then we'll be on our way. So. We don't need a shave and whatnot, but it is what it is, and we'll just go about our day. In our boat oar that I was talking about, this is made by Smoker. Um, not very familiar with boat oars, like I said, but I picked them up for, I think, five bucks for the pair, so it is what it is with that. And I'll take that to the flea market, and I think somebody, if you know, if you want this, for like home decor and you go to like home goods or marshals or whatever these things are probably like 20 30 bucks you go to like an outfitting store or whatnot these are probably like 40 50 so 10 bucks 15 bucks probably should get out of it they are pretty neat if i had the nautical design decor i would definitely keep that but i don't so here's what we're working with scrap today i'm going to take the christmas lights because i have a ton of them i have two buckets so that's probably two dollars worth, if that. Some random pieces of metal, I'll probably combine that. There's not that much in here. I got some other metal down here, a couple buckets, a couple things of screws. Not a lot of light iron. I have a bunch in the, in the van and a bunch also outside, so we'll pick that up. But should be a good day, should be a good day. Let's get into it. So here's my insulated copper pile. If there's anyone out there who's really stingy about motors and whatnot, Christmas lights, for the most part, at some some scrapyards, they'll give you the same exact, same exact price. So this is um, insulated copper, Christmas light. All I did was take off all the bulbs, but they'll give you 50 cents for this, as opposed to with the light bulbs, with the light bulbs, they give you 5 cents a pound for this. Um, so it is worth it to take off the light bulbs, because the light bulbs and the plugs take about 50%. I've done an experiment with about a pound, and it's about a 50-50 split. So you take away half the weight, um, but you double your money. So essentially what this thing should be worth, I believe my math is correct, is if you clip them, it should be worth 10 cents a pound. Or I think that if that's my math, but they give you 50 cents a pound. So with that in mind, yes, it is worth it to clip it, but to clip one pound worth of, oh, that's not even a pound right there probably, but to clip a pound, it took me I think about six or seven minutes to clip it all and put it on the garbage and separate it. So to make another 40 cents or whatever, 30 cents, 25 cents, considering that you have to take two pounds to make one pound, it, it's not worth it to make 50 cents for 20 minutes worth of work. So. I just, I just wanted to say that, you know, if you're bored and whatnot and you want to do that, go ahead. Like I said, taking apart these, taking apart these, you know, if you have time, like I said, in your scrapyard, I know some scrapyards don't pay that much. They don't pay you to insulate copper price. Um, but if you have time and you, you don't want, you don't have anything else to do, I, I'd say, why not? Go ahead, clip them. Pick this up from the trash um, on scrap day. It's a radiator. I'm not sure what this outer coating is. I don't think it's copper. It might be copper. Let's hit it with the magnet. Nothing. 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 That sticks. This whole bar here sticks. Um, I want to just take it as is with the hoses, everything on it, and see what I get. You might give me irony, irony aluminum for it. I'm really not going to sit here and, and take apart this whole thing, especially because it was something I was just going to throw in my light iron. I just want to see what he gets. Um, what he gives me for it, but we'll see. If, you know, if you're curious about what they probably give you for this, stay tuned because I have no idea. Front seat's looking a little jammed out here. Got a bunch of dirty aluminum, iron aluminum. Um, Christmas lights, whatnot. This thing looks packed, but sadly it's not. It's got a lot of space back here. So, 
I mean, it is what it is. This is what I have for today. Don't know what to really expect. Probably going to change my hat because I can't really do a lot of... Generally attach the, the clip to my hat. A lot of videos that way, so... Just making room for more junk as it is, so... Let's get into it. Let's, uh... Let's head out to the yard. Tell you what, it's allergy season. I'm hurting, hurting pretty good right now. Um, but I got scrap metal, so I'm pretty happy about that. Let's uh, let's see how the day goes. It's beautiful out, 60 degrees. A bunch of aluminum here, and a bunch of Christmas lights. The rang shock on me, so we'll see what happens with that. Beautiful day, beautiful day. Great day to live the American dream. Tell you that much. You gotta be appreciative of this old you know stone houses like those are pretty neat that's an old brick house over here but these old stone houses man they're pretty sweet they got the snowbirds on the top i don't know if you can catch that as you can see i'm a big fan of architecture especially the older stuff i mean that stuff's cool this guy's got railroad ties just in his yard for no reason yeah scrap life if we ever make past the stop sign we'll be doing that scrap life here in a second looks very barren. I don't know why it always looks so barren when I come here. Oh, maybe because they usually have a pile right over there. Big pile of scrap. Who knows? Check out the sign. That'd be nice to put in the house. I'm driving some of you scrappers on the wall by just doing irony aluminum. But it is what it is. Grab this, see what he gives me for this. So that's going to do it for non ferrous Didn't even check what I got yet. Uh, I'll check it after. I do a light iron. Picked out a bunch of stuff out my stuff that I just put for dirty aluminum, so I don't know. He probably just gave me clean aluminum or I took out stuff that was probably too light irony. But. legend over there.
gonna do it for that. I guess I gotta go back on the on scale. The off scale is broken, so we'll see how that goes. All done. Weird thing in there. She said the prices went down, but for non fares, whatever metals I brought went up, so I don't know. And light iron's the same price, which is four dollars and fifty cents for every hundred. My man hooked it up over there in the non fares department. Like I said, this place is always great to me. He uh, everything I thought was irony aluminum. Apparently, one screw here, two screws there, a little metal plate, light iron, no problem. Give you the aluminum price for the light iron today. Easy 400 at 450. She told me the prices went down for metal. He's still happy. Four dollars fifty cents. Wish it was six, seven. Other other YouTubers, they're around six. It is what it is. Eighteen bucks on that one. Let's go over to the non ferris Jump off the non ferris ski. What do we got? Oh, here we go. Uh, aluminum. Like I said, he separated a little bit for me. It's up from 35 cents a pound to 40 cents a pound. So it went up another five cents. 280. Uh, irony aluminum. I had uh, 20 pounds of that. Those were like, uh, those were skis. So that was 20 pounds, 10 cents a pound. Irony aluminum was five cents a pound or eight cents a pound. So it went up two cents. And aluminum went up five cents. So $4.80 in just aluminum and irony aluminum. Batteries had that one nice battery I picked up in a scrapping video, garbage picking video. The funniest thing about that was the person's house is two houses away from the scrapyard. So the guy could have literally just taken the battery that morning and like, you know, I'm gonna just walk over to the scrapyard and, and scrap the battery. But I don't know if he knew that you can scrap batteries before I did scrapping. I didn't know you can scrap batteries. So eight bucks for one battery. Wish I can find a pile of 10 or 20 of those. That would be nice. Looking over here, we got that radiator, like I said, with the hose still on it. Um, as is, whatever, gotta go. Nine pounds, 35 cents a pound, so definitely better than just throwing the light iron pile. I thought they'd be a little bit more picky. You know, you gotta take off the hose. You know, you gotta remove the, the solder, you know, remove the hose, remove the clamps. Junk like that, so nine pounds of that, 35 cents a pound, 315. And the Christmas lights. And the Christmas lights at uh, 23 pounds at 5 cents a pound. So 17 bucks plus 18 bucks. It's like $35. 30, $35, yeah, 35 bucks. Ain't bad. Need gas for the, the old van ski, so definitely got to put some gas in here. Probably going to be about 35 bucks in gas, but, you know, that's over scrapping, garbage picking, flea market. Uh, auction so I mean if this pays for my gas for the week I'm happy so definitely a good day I enjoyed it I didn't sweat that much I got my sweatshirt a little dirty gotta stop wearing sweatshirts that I kind of like to do scrap working to do scrap working but that's not my concern right now I don't have any concerns life is good um, just happy you know it's a good day to live the American dream or whatever country you want to live your dream in that's going to do it for this vlog. If you're stopping in for the first time, check out my other vlogs. I got a lot of our cool scrapping vlogs. You can also see where I pick up all the scrap metal. Um, definitely some cool stuff. Definitely some cool finds and and whatnot. So check those videos out if you haven't. If you want to see more videos, hit the subscribe button. And more videos will be coming out. As always, have a great day. Keep living the dream. Peace.